Hello, my beautiful friends, and welcome back to my channel. Check it out. beautiful day it is January 1st and in this video I want to share with you all my greatest tips on how you can make 2021 become the year that you get in the best shape of your life and that you achieve your goals that you wanted for so many years really just make this year be different and not be like any of the other years where you set yourself a goal and then something have come up and you've come up with different excuses and just it hasn't really turned out the way that you wanted it to so I want to share with you the things that I've learned in my fitness journey and the things that really deeply truly has helped me I believe that getting in shape and achieving any goal just builds self-worth and helps us know that we really truly can achieve anything that we want even if it's really challenging and if it's really hard that we can do anything that we put our mind to so getting in shape is not just gonna make you create your dream body but it'll just help you give you self-confidence to achieve anything that you want in life and I believe just like Tony Robbins says that growth equals happiness and I want you to be happy so let's get into it but before we do that give me a like if you like this video and hit that subscribe button and let's do it I'm walking around in my um, apartment complex because it is a beautiful day today the Sun is out the first thing and the first tip that I always tell people is that you need to have a clear goal you need to know what it is specifically that you want to achieve and by when you want to achieve it by because once you know your specific goal and you realize what is the reason for why this goal is so important for you you'll be able to break it down into smaller steps and create small action steps for each month for each week and for the daily basis the day-to-day -day on what things you need to do every single day in order for you to achieve that goal and also when you lose motivation when you don't feel like doing that thing because you know your why because you know what it is that you want to feel how you want your life to be what who you want to be you can remind yourself of that and that way it'll just be so much easier for you to get up and do that thing that you maybe don't feel like doing because you know that the goal is more important than what you feel like in the now. So my hope right now is that you bring out a pen and a piece of paper and you write down a clear specific goal in as much detail as possible and that you write down why it's so important for you to achieve that goal and how you want to feel once you've achieved it. Once you've done that then it's time to create a workout plan, a workout program, a eating nutritional plan or just like specific guidelines that you want to go after. Maybe that's like you want to go running three days a week. Maybe that is that you want to follow a specific workout program five days a week. I have a couple of workout programs. There's also a bunch of others that you can look up or you can just say that I want to run on Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays or whatever it is that you want and whatever it is that will help you reach your goal but having a specific plan is so important because I feel like when I don't have a plan it's very easy for me to be like oh I don't need to do it today I can do it tomorrow but when you have a specific plan and you promise yourself promise yourself that you're gonna do it and put in that work it's there's a higher chance that you actually put in that work and once you have this workout program and you want to be consistent with it it's so important that you remind yourself of that why that you wrote down on the first tip because if you remind yourself of your while why you will remember that it's more important to put in that work even though you maybe don't feel like it because the end result is so much more important than how you feel in the now and also when have it ever worked out and not felt good afterwards like has that ever happened I don't think so tip number three leads me to a goal that I actually have set for myself in 2021 and that is read one audiobook every single week. I have listened to so many audiobooks and so many podcasts and I switch it up all the time and I'm ready to like actually go into depth in one audiobook every single week. And the reason that I do this, I always listen to like self-development or something that has to do with entrepreneurship or um, just something where my mind can grow. and. I really highly suggest for you to do the same because if you listen to something that motivates you every single day you are so much more likely to get up every single day and put in that work it really just helps it's just like how the people we surround ourselves with are the people we become and so if you surround yourself with the people who are so motivated and have so much knowledge to share with you you're so much more likely to actually also get up and become the best version of yourself just like they are getting up every single day and being the best versions of themselves every single day and it's just 
it just has changed my life and I want it to change your life too. When it comes to diet, it really just depends on what makes you, your body feel at your best. There's no right or wrong way to do it. Some people thrive being vegan, some people thrive eating a bunch of meats and it just depends on what makes you feel best. If you have certain like aesthetic goals, like you want your body to look a certain way, you want abs, then it could be an idea to get a little bit more knowledgeable about the macros that you eat, but it may also not be. It could just be that you need to incorporate more veggies into your diet, more protein into your diet, and let go of some sugars. And it just depends on what kind of human you are and what really works for you. For me, I eat a high protein diet. I don't limit myself any foods, but I have a knowledge in what uh, the macros are in different foods. I, because I've studied it for a long time now, I don't need to count my macros, but I just have like a general idea and that makes me know that I eat a lot of high protein foods, a lot of really healthy veggies and just things that make my body feel at my best so that I can perform at my best and so that I can achieve the goals that I have. For you, you may want to plan out your nutrition um, so that you have a general idea. You may want to like cut out all sugar or you may want to just make sure that all snacks you eat is vegetables, whatever works for you. Maybe it's just that you want to drink some more water during the day and that will like make you feel more energized. and just hydrated it just depends on your goal and what works the best for you but whatever you do plan to do stick to it something that I didn't really get when I was trying to achieve my goal but that I am so sure is the truth for me now is that I need to see myself as the thing that I'm trying to achieve I started seeing myself as an athlete and that made me train so much harder and that made me not come up with excuses anymore for why not to train or for why not to keep my diet because I started identifying myself with an athlete and I knew that an athlete did certain things and so I needed to do those certain things in order for me to be what I identified myself with which was an athlete and so I feel like it could help you as well if you ask yourself what is it that I want to be what is it that I want to identify myself as and I truly think that once you start believing yourself to be that when you like say these affirmations I am an athlete I am an athlete or for you I am healthy I am healthy or for you it's I'm unstoppable I can do anything I put my mind to I am fit whatever that affirmation is for you that thing that you identify yourself with when you said it enough and you start believing that you are that thing I truly believe that that is gonna help you achieve your goal and truly make you believe that you're capable of doing it because I think that oftentimes what stops us from doing that thing achieving that goal is because we don't deep down truly believe that we're capable or able to do it and then we stop ourselves we come up with those excuses and we don't get up and do it because losing weight isn't that hard thousands of people have done it millions of people have done it and the only thing that's stopping us from doing that is ourselves getting in shape isn't that hard millions of people have done it it's just stopping ourselves and I have other things in my life uh, where I'm stopping myself and I'm aware of that and and once I decide that I want to make that change, it's all up to me if I'm willing to put in that work. And if I'm able to believe that I'm capable of doing that thing, then it's all up to me whether or not I actually do it and put in that work that it takes. Because doing new things takes work. It's challenging because we've never done it before. We need to create new habits and we need to get out of our comfort zone. And that's super challenging because as humans, we prefer doing things that we feel safe in and things that are comfortable. But we just have to remember that we don't grow if we stay in our comfort zone. We grow when we do things that are challenging and things that um, feel a little bit uncomfortable. So I really think that we should do those things that we deep down want to do, but that we stop ourselves from doing. And um, I'm saying this to myself as much as I'm saying it to you right now. So we're in it together and I know that we're both doing our best, um, but it's time to be real with ourselves and just really just put in that work and get there. But these are really the things that have helped me get in shape because I could tell you what to do specifically to get apps. I have other videos uh, on how to do that so you could just check those out but 
What really will help you get in shape is your mindset, changing the way you think, changing your habits, because consistency is key. If we don't have consistency, if we don't have love towards ourselves, if we don't believe that we can do it, then we'll never be able to do it. Then we can know all the knowledge because, I mean, we all know that we just have to be in a caloric deficit and then we'll lose weight. It's not like crazy science, but there's a reason we don't do it. There's a reason why we haven't gotten in shape. We know that to get in shape, we just need to go for a run every day. Like then we'll get better, like stamina. But we don't do it because it's our mentality, it's our habits, it's what we believe about ourselves, what we believe we're capable of. And so that's what I kind of wanted to give you in this video, I guess, instead of that typical like, 10 tips on how to get in shape because I deep down think you already know that and if you don't then check out my other videos. The last thing I want to share in this video is that we need to remember um, our past, our lessons from the past and I feel like 2020 was such a hard year for many people but I also think that we learned so much. I mean for me every single time in 2020 I've met an obstacle uh, it really has turned out to be a blessing and I learned so much from 2020 so I'm really really grateful even though it was rough at points and right now someone has hacked or at least my Instagram is disabled and I don't know if I'll ever get it back and that's like my camera just died but that's like two years of work that is just maybe just completely gone and what I really love in my life is like impacting people, sharing everything that I experience on a daily and hopefully motivating people to be better and feel better and just bring more awareness and um, live a more fulfilled life. And when I can't do that every day, it impacts me. But what I remind myself of is that there's really always, every single time I've struggled with something, something has happened to me, there's always a reason for it. So even if I will never see my Instagram account again, I won't stop uh, trying to achieve my mission. Even in rough times, I know that an Instagram account is nothing compared to what so many people have gone through in 2020. I just wanted to give that as an example that no matter what we're going through, there's always a lesson behind it and behind anything that we go through. And if we look at it from a positive perspective, then good things will come out on the other side. I truly believe that. So. Uh, whatever you have had to come overcome to get to where you are now just remember that it's made you stronger or it's helped you learn a couple of things so use that when you're trying to get in shape in 2021 and go all the way because i know you can and i hope that you know that too thank you again so much for watching this video if you liked it please give me a thumbs up and if you have not yet please hit that subscribe button and i'm excited to see you again very soon bye Sun is shining 24-7